Hi everyone. Recently we came across um, a news item that a very senior police official committed suicide. For whatever reason, I am sure people will go into the details which uh, made him to take that decision. It's very unfortunate. Well, that is not the uh, isolated incident. We have come across students committing suicide for failing in an exam. Uh, we have come across um, IIT students committing uh, suicide. Long ago, I read an article, um, a news item somewhere in US, a gold medalist, uh, uh, an IIT postgraduate was uh, doing very well in US. Um, he was not able to go through the stress and strain of depression um, and recession. And he committed, not only he committed suicide, but he killed his entire family before committing suicide. There are a lot of um, uh, such incidents. I want to make one thing very clear in this episode. There are certain uh, profession. Uh, we need to focus on the mental fitness of such uh, people in that profession. One such important profession is the police department. Well, this concept is equally applicable to everybody. There are people who go through issues or challenges in life, um, uh, like setback in business, setback in the family relationship. Ending the life is not the only uh, solution. But they suffer from a, a phenomenon called helplessness and hopelessness. Now, everybody will face a challenge, some challenge or other in life. The purpose of living is not to have a very comfortable life only. That, that's an ideal situation, but uh, very rare. Depending upon your social status, your, uh, your family status, your career status, challenges will be there. The ability to take challenges and successfully uh, dealing with them is very very important in this connection hats off to uh, uh, mr pravesh kumar ips the dig of uh, tanjur at the time i'm talking about august 2021 he invited me for a one full day seminar for all the police officials in and around tanjur the event took place in the uh, Sastra University, where nearly 250 and odd police officials uh, uh, participated. The topic that was given to me was work-life balance. And Mr. Pravesh Kumar, he discussed with me over the telephone before I, uh, I started this seminar on that day. He said, for the police officials, there is uh, no... Uh, what shall I say, fixed hours, they are on duty 24 bar 7. Because nobody knows um, when uh, violence will uh, take place. It's not like, uh, you know, flight taking off, uh, 9 o'clock the flight takes off, mid 9 o'clock the flight takes off, before that it will not, after that it will not. Arrival of a train, train take place at the fixed hours. Uh, so, it's not, so law and order situation will not be like that. We do not know when. So they are always on call. They have a walkie-talkie always fixed. Wherever they go, I have moved with some of the senior uh, police officials. Uh, they are always, um, they have to be alert. There is no holiday and uh, uh, there is no free time. It's something like, you know, this is the occupational uh, demands. We need to uh, uh, take that into account and really prepare them to face such a life pattern. Just imagine uh, an IIT student, um, IIT is supposed to be one of the uh, toughest exams a person can think of. Um, uh, similarly, Union Public Service Commission, uh, UPSC exam, uh, whether IPS or IAS, how much of intelligence they should have. But what they lack is emotional intelligence, otherwise called EQ. In this episode, I'm going to uh, uh, suggest to whosoever is listening to this episode, there are five basic training we have to give to such people. 
first one is called a time management i keep telling in my time management seminars that time management is a misnomer nobody can manage time because we have no control on time uh, 60 seconds a minute 60 minutes an hour 24 hours a day 365 days in a uh, year 30 days a month 7 days a week these are all fixed concept you cannot do anything just because uh, your job is uh, demanding you cannot have an extra hour so one has to balance between these uh, these 24 hours no less no more so we need to train them on how they want to uh, prioritize what is the lifetime goal what is the demand on their time by various agencies like family officials colleagues subordinates society people clients court work preparation for the court versus prosecution side i am a lawyer for four generations and i know what it means to be uh, to conduct a criminal case so there will be pressure uh, if a person does not organize himself in terms of uh, time productivity that is one second one is called a thought management thought management now in fact i used to give lectures on what is called a thought architecture thought architecture thoughts take take place in our mind there are two subsystems we need to be aware of one is called the uh, brain system the other one is called the mind system we have a brain i keep saying that we have two factories uh, one is called the chemical factory which is our brain it releases lot of hormones when you feel happy dopamine is released when you feel um, challenged adrenaline is released right when you take food saliva is released when you feel sad uh, your tear glands uh, are busy releasing tears so the brain is a chemical factory the mind is a thought factory it's a thought factory you can go to sleep and the maybe the brain is not working or it is relaxing but your thoughts always occupy your mind your subconscious mind your conscious mind your um, you know unconscious mind thoughts create emotions emotions create feelings feelings create uh, your activities there was a quotation long ago the ancestor for any action is a thought watch your thought they decide your words watch your words they decide your actions watch your actions they decide your habit watch your habit they decide your character and watch your character that decides your destiny so these people need Uh, a good training program on thought management how to eliminate negative thoughts stressful thoughts the third one is called emotion management emotional intelligence is very very important daniel goleman the author or the inventor or the person who propagated emotional intelligence everybody sh- should read that book i conduct workshops on emotional intelligence however brilliant a person can be if he cannot manage his emotions he gets into a problem so they need a complete uh, discussion or a training on emotional intelligence the fourth one is called the relationship management the family relationship the boss subordinate relationship the boss uh, superior relationship how do you manage relationship yes a police officer will get uh, pressure from all around from his superiors from his subordinates there could be a problem uh, in the lives of the subordinates right so relationship management how to empathize how to speak to people how to be assertive how to put your points of, across so relationship management deals Uh, also with communication uh, uh, skills when you have a problem how do you go and communicate how do you share your problem so that you don't get into the syndrome of hopelessness and helplessness 
Last but not the least is building self-development by improving self-confidence, self-respect and self-image. All of us have the resources to manage any challenges. So self-development is very, very, very important. Now, how are we going to do that? There are two areas or two concepts I wanted to mention here. One is called a neuro-linguistic programming called NLP. I did my master's and along with my wife in neuro-linguistic programming from United States, NLP Comprehensive, Colorado, United States of America. NLP is about combining the exciting powers of the brain with the infinite powers of the mind. So it's a mind-brain linking. That's very, very important. NLP training. Where we deal with uh, some issues like limiting beliefs. A person come to the conclusion, oh, I'm not able to manage this stress. I'm useless. And there is uh, no way I can get over this. We have to help people to overcome limiting belief. NLP will come to the rescue. And emotional intelligence. How do we manage and take charge of our emotions? So, we need to have a fixed schedule for this, like we have a schedule for yoga, like we have a schedule for meditation. This has to be trained. In fact, it should be introduced in every police training, uh, training institutes across the country. Right? Um, these are some of the thoughts I thought I can share with you. See you in my next episode.